Creeper, hug me. Hug me, Creeper. Hug me. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the episode of the Hypermind server. How are you guys doing today? You know I'm doing really good. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a really great day. We are back playing some more Feed the Beast Revelations again today. Oh, I'm excited to get into today's episode because today I want to take flight. I know technically we've taken flight before, which by the way, it's an okay flight, but it's not great flight. So I want to start working today towards getting our angel ring. So last episode, if you guys did not watch it, we made our beautiful, absolutely fantastic, my favorite, personal favorite armor in the game other than the... Uh, I, other than, I, I think the Iridium armor is a little bit better, but, or what's it called? The Quantum armor? I think that's a little bit better looking, but I love the Nano suit. The Nano suit just looks so cool. And I like how they upgraded it a little bit. So, uh, last episode we made this guy. It doesn't do anything super duper special. I haven't even tried it. I haven't even like tested out against mobs yet. So I don't know how well it protects me if it does any better than diamond armor, but I just think it looks really cool. And it runs off EU, which is super cool. So also this armor has like built in functionality for it. Well, one specific Specific functionality it has night vision and I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys the night vision real quick since I did not do it last episode so let's go ahead and shift it on the way that you do it is that there is a mode switch that we were using for the jetpack we have it set to H and now apparently if you hit alt and H it'll turn on your night vision Wow super great night vision isn't it <laughs> it turns everything night get it it's night vision no, <laughs> no, that's actually not what it's doing. So what the night vision in IC2 is a little bit more realistic than the regular night vision you get out of like other things. Like if you drink a night vision potion or something like that, it's actually more realistic in the sense that if you use night vision during the day, you go blind. So I guess that's a thing. It should be, I guess that's the way it needs to be. I don't know. <laughs> so I we'll have to test that out when it turns nighttime. So any who's, yeah, we have night vision now, which is really cool. And it does not look like it uses, um, energy at all, which I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I've got 1000 K out of 1 million, which is the same thing. I don't know. Um, we'll have to kind of look around that whenever it turns nighttime, see if it actually does anything. So today, the first thing I want to do is start getting into, uh, extra utilities too. So if you guys don't know about the angel rings, let's go ahead and edit that out and go to extra utilities extra utilities we have several different things and extra utilities that we can look at in the future like we got different generators that we use for rf which we've seen before we got barrels barrels with no other drums <laughs> i just wanted to do that but we got uh drums uh that holds liquid so that's kind of cool and also the one thing i want to get into are these angel rings so there's different things in the angel ring specifically we have the chicken wing ring we have the ring of the flying squid and then we have the angel ring now we looked at these during our our Dire Wolf 20 Let's Play. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys again, just in case if you haven't seen that Let's Play, is these guys are tiered. The first, in order to make the Angel Rings, which by the way, if you don't know what it does, it gives you creative flight as long as you have grid power. Now, we're gonna talk about grid power whenever we get to it. It's a little complicated, but uh, it'll give us flight as long as we have grid power. Now, in order to make the Angel Ring, we have to have the Ring of the Flying Squid. Now, in order to make the Ring of the Flying Squid, we have to have the Ring of the Chicken, well, the Chicken Ring, Wing Ring, say that three times fast. And then we have to, in order to get that, we're gonna need to get this stuff, which this stuff is generally pretty cheap. The hardest thing that we're gonna end up having to do is to actually get, I don't know if I have an Ender Pearl. I might have an ender pearl. If I don't, I can find me an enderman. That's not a big deal. But the hardest thing that we're going to have to do is we have to get this cursed lasso with a ghast in it, which that generally is pretty difficult. And I might actually show it on screen this time. I didn't do it in my, di in my Dire Wolf 20 uh, playthrough. And the reason I didn't is because it took me so long to do it. I didn't, I didn't, and the video was already so long. I didn't feel like putting it in. It was embarrassing. Um, but Anywho, so that's going to be the hardest thing that we're going to have to do because we have to get a, a drop of evil, which I don't think I have. We have to go kill Wither Skellies for that. And uh, we got to capture a, a ghast inside of that, which is not going to be easy. But since I do have a jetpack, it should be a little bit simpler than what it was in Dire Wolf because we didn't have a jetpack back then. So um, that's this is going to require a lot of crafting to do. I probably won't do uh, nearly as much on screen as I should, uh, just because it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory. The first thing I need to do is make myself a, a golden lasso and do it that way. But this is all in a minute point. Of course, I need oh, I got experience for today, so that's not a big deal. All of this is kind of like a minute point. The fact of the matter is, in order to get into and pardon me, why? <coughs> 
I don't know what that was about. Um, my voice, for some reason, decided it didn't want to work anymore. Um, but all this is kind of a minute point, because the only way that we can get this ring to even work is we're going to need 32 grid power. Now, for those of you who are unacquainted with grid power, it is quite possibly the coolest power in the game, even though it's only used for, like, a set of items. Um, the way that it works is you can generate grid power. You can make bedrock. What is that? I want you. Anyways, uh, the way that grid power works is that you can... You can generate grid power, and then it could be accepted from anywhere in the world, which is kind of cool. Um, but the problem with grid power is, is it's kind of difficult to make unless you decide to make it a certain way. Now, I was told, I don't know this for sure, but I was told that it was nerfed. So in Dire Wolf 20, we were using something called water mills. Now, I don't know if those are, I know that they're still here. Let's just do water. If we look up the water mills, these guys, um, I was told these were nerfed. Oh, they were nerfed. So we've got progression efficiency loss, zero grid power to 64 is 0% loss. Oh no, it's not. It's not nerfed the way that we need it. Um, Okay, so we can still use it that way. Okay, cool. So what the basics behind the, the water mills is they were extremely cheap to make and you could make uh, 128 grid power uh, from like four, eight of them. So that was generally pretty cool. But the problem with that was it was really overpowered. So I'm guessing they nerfed it in such a way that you couldn't do that anymore. But luckily for us, it looks like we could still use it for what we want. Cool. So in order to make water mills, we're gonna need a couple different things. We need to make ourselves some redstone gears, some burnt stone, which has to we have to get a resonator for. Um, and yeah, we'll actually have to get red power to use the resonator. So I'll probably make myself some of the solar panels, which are generally pretty cheap, which is just polished stone, which is just stone brick and a quad, and then some lapis. And of course, these guys work during the day. These guys work during the night. This is the resonator and the stuff and the things. So um, I'm gonna to get to work. I'm probably gonna make me some solars in order to get the resonator to work. The resonator, of course, is pretty simple to make. It's just iron, the redstone thing, and bobber. And these are pretty easy. I think I have a few of these. Yeah, I do. Okay. So I do have a few of these. Um, the resonator is pretty self-extendatory. It's just like the crafting table of the extra utilities too. We're gonna use that to make ourselves some uh, burnt stone burnt to make some water mills to make some grid power. Yeah. Oh, it's night time. Okay. Halt. Night vision. <laughs> really cool night vision. And it's kind of using, okay, so it is using uh, energy, but it looks like it's using it very slowly. Okay, now it's gotten dark. Oh, that's interesting. So if I get next to anything that emits light, I lose my night vision. That's a little wonky, but hey, it's still night vision, right? <laughs> it's still a good thing. Um, Guys? I might have found something out that's kind of stupid. Um, I, I don't take damage. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> this is how it used to be a long time ago. Oh, may, oh, maybe I am taking a little bit of damage, but it's so minute. It's ridiculous. Hold on. Let me, I don't have any food on my hot bar. Let me just, hold on. Let me just grab some food. This is not a big deal. I'm out here, by the way, if you guys are wondering. Creeper, hug me. Hug me, creeper. Hug me. <laughs> I'm out here fighting Enderman because I need an Ender Pearl, and I just found that out randomly. Yeah, don't take damage. Go figure. <laughs> Screw you. Nobody likes you. And it's all—all all it does is cost me energy. Wait, am I getting slowness? Oh, I am getting slowness, so I still get a little bit of effects from it. So yeah, give me your Ender Pearl, please. Give me your Ender Ball. <laughs> give me an Ender Pearl. I need an Ender Pearl for my new ring. Does anybody else think this is stupid? Because I think this is amazing. <laughs> and when I say stupid, I mean it's like in like one of those really amazing stupid ways. Where it's kind of stupid, but it's still at the same time really amazing. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying here, but this is great. This is an, uh, this is an awesome find, but I still don't have my ender pearl. Oh, poor me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> These sly boots, man. Trying to start a segment. It's going to drop me off into the void. That'd be hilarious. Okay. <clears throat> Oh boy, oh boy, have you guys missed some I don't even want to say it was fun. It wasn't fun at all. Okay, so a little bit of explaining. So ever since that last clip, it's been a couple of days, and I have been through 
a little bit of a the ringer as uh, some people would say so this game hates me uh, I don't know why so a little explaining to do uh, I died a bunch as you can see over there but somehow it, it doesn't make any sense why I died now originally what ended up happening was I went through that portal over there and then the game freaked out and the end result and, and well the end result resulted me in teleporting halfway across the map into a wall and dying I don't know why I don't know how I don't know how it happened it just did but luckily for me some people came to my rescue so I wanted to say thank you to I think it's uh, Aino a ASOS uh, he's one of the people who are on the server I'm not very good at pronouncing names but his links in the down there along with Lapis her she's the admin on the server uh, she she also came to my rescue but luckily for me when I died uh, my portal I don't know what happened. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense now that I think about it. But yeah, I did get all my stuff back thanks to Lapis um, because she was the one who actually found my gravestone. So the, lo the long just of it is I went to that portal, teleported me over there for some reason, kicked me from the game. Well, it kicked me from the game. When I re-logged back in, I logged in in a wall and died. Okay. And then when I re-logged in, for some reason, every time I logged in, it registered another death message. Like, I have three different death messages right here. Check this out. Three of them. So if any of you guys are playing on this uh, on, on this mod pack, let that be just for you guys to know about that. Um, sometimes another is broken, and if that ends up happening, you might have to... <laughs> You might have to get some help to help yourself because I, there was no way I was going to be able to get over there. There was absolutely zero way that I was going to be able to get from here all the way over there. That's 1400 blocks. I don't even know why it teleported me over there. It doesn't make any sense, but it did. And I had to get Lapis and uh, Anos to help me get my stuff back. So thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, because this episode, well, it almost ended in tragedy because if it, I couldn't get my stuff back, I don't, it would take me literally days to get all this stuff back. So anyways, long story short, back to what we're going to be doing today. So anyways, I got myself my cursed lasso back. Ignore all the pigment over there who are getting very angry at my presence for some reason. I don't know who built that farm. But it's amazing. It's producing so much stuff. It has uh, pigmen. It has wither skeletons. I've seen magma uh, slimes in here every once in a while. It's crazy how much stuff they're getting from that. But um, right now, I'm in the search. I'm looking for a ghast. And usually, a lot of them spawn over here. Um, so I'm just kind of in limbo until one spawns. What I'm going to end up doing... Now, these lassos, unfortunately, do not work on full health ghasts. They can only work on ghasts that have either two or three hearts left, I think. Um, but once they spawn, I do believe my iron sword will not kill them when I hit them and it will allow me to then catch the ghast. That is what I did on the, uh, that's what I did on Direwolf. So I'm hoping I get that lucky again. <laughs> I really hope it works. <laughs> I just have to wait for one to spawn, which this should be a lot. <gasps> is there one over there? Is that what that is? No, that's just a little build. Oh God, <laughs> this is the building. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to wait for a ghast and then I'll see you guys in a second. Oh wait, I hear one. Where are you? I hear oh there you are okay there you are okay hover mode we're engaged sword fight did not kill him i was correct now come back here get in the lasso get in the lasso yeah got it baby got my gas that was easy <laughs> that was so much easier than it was on dire wolf well the reason why it was so hard on dire wolf is because i didn't have flight so i had to wedge one i had to like coax one in like one of these crevices over here just like in a random crevice i i do believe it was a lot flatter so it was much easier to do but i was able to coax it into a corner and then hit it with a sword and then capture it but luckily for there i could just fly so that was much much easier okay so we have everything for the angel ring now please teleport me at my base because uh, this was another thing for some reason this portal would take me way far away and kick me don't do it <gasps> it's working now i'm waiting for the server have you caught up yet server no okay there we go the server has now caught up everything seems to be working fine okay so what the only difference between this game well, for right now and what it was earlier and when it was messing up is the fact that I don't have Optifine anymore. I really hope that's not the case, that Optifine breaks stuff, because that would be really bad. Well, I took Optifine off for right now. My FPS does not seem to be too terrible. Okay, so we're going to deal with that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and throw this in there. Bam! Angel Ring! Dang! That was easy. So we got our angel ring now. So we can fly. Well, technically we can, but we can't. So first things that we're going to need to do in order to get our flight going is I've already got my recipe going for my water mills. Let's go ahead and make ourselves. I think I only need eight of these. Oh, I didn't have enough. Holy crap. No, I forgot about that resonating crystal that we need in the middle. Oh, I might have to go get some redstone because I don't think I have any more, do I? Uh, 
no okay so i might have to go well i am gonna have to go mine for my resonating crystal but i think i think i can get it from this i don't know if each side gives me four or if each side gives me one with a total of four so as you can see by its what its reading definition it says gives grid power for adjustment ad adjacent flowing water blocks and then it says a whole bunch of other stuff the higher the lower blah 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 and then power given 4 gp but i don't know if that means 4 gp per side or if it means four in total but we're going to find out really quickly so the way that you set this up is actually really stupidly simple uh you just need to have just a little area dug out let's go ahead and do this really quickly um and then from here uh you're gonna have one flowing in the center you're also going to let's actually dig this out just a little bit more i'm gonna put this in the ground because it makes it a little bit easier to kind of see exactly what we're doing okay there we go okay so we're gonna have the center block which is going to be that does did i just how did i mess that up <laughs> how did i mess that one up so badly uh huh let's take this one out as well my insta mine has messed me up okay so there's the center point and then we're gonna need to place one here there 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 and then there but i don't have all of those so i'm just gonna keep one uh, these two here for right now okay so let's go ahead and take this out and let's see i have a bucket of water let's go ahead and put this bucket of water there so that should automatically give me three different sides on both of these am i correct i am now generating 20 gp which is not the amount that i need so let's go ahead and actually do this one as well we'll do this side this will give me another side um i need to grab me a bucket of water real quick second bucket of water how much are we at now 33. now i don't know if that means if that's taking into account my solars because i'm getting i'm getting uh i think nine from these guys two four six eight yeah i'm getting nine from these guys so let's actually dig these up because i don't want these guys to be uh interfering with what i'm getting okay so it is okay so i want to make sure that i'm getting all the grid power from the water mills because once these guys are gone i'm not going to be getting anything out of the solars because well generally speaking i don't want to have to rely on both solars and water power i just want water power because uh these things of course don't work during the nighttime, and i would really hate for my grid power to stop working during the nighttime, <laughs> and i'd just fall from grace that'd be terrible okay let's see what are we at now we're at 20 we're at 24 um i'm not gonna have enough dang it so what i'm gonna have to do is i need to go ahead and make me uh, just a couple more of these real quick it shouldn't take me very long i just need to get some resonating crystal bam 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 and a boom oh yeah i gotta make sure these things don't freeze let me go ahead and take that off and do i have any torches in my inventory i don't do i okay i'll have to go grab some torches okay so we're gonna go ahead and put a water source cheer and that should automatically give me all the uh, gp that i need yep i can fly <laughs> oh that's so great but let's go ahead and just finish this off so wait no put that back give me that and then we'll go ahead and place a water source block here give me this i'm gonna go ahead and place a water source block here give me that let's go ahead and place another water source block right there give me oh break that give me that and let's go ahead and place another water source block right here. And now, how much GP do we have now? 101.33. <laughs> a weird number. Okay. So I guess it's because of that uh, whole, uh, it, it slowly becomes less efficient because they're trying to nerf it. But yeah, we're making 104 now. I know in the Dire Wolf world, um, I don't know how much it is specifically. I think it was 128 is what we ended up with. I guess uh, this is at 106. Yeah. It's not terrible. I mean, it is a lot less efficient than what it was. And the more that we build of these things, the less efficient that it's going to be. But all I needed to do is get 32 and I got 106. I mean, that's still better than what I want. So yeah, now we can fly. That's amazing. We can fly. <laughs> I know we just glossed over the whole fact that we are now aviation. We have aviation for the win. That should be an achievement. Okay. So let's go ahead and just throw a bunch of this rest of this stuff back in the invent, like back in the, oh my God. We're gonna have to fix that too. Hold on. Let me grab some torches because if I leave this alone These water sources will then freeze and we will lose our flight, which would be terrible So let's go ahead and break that back and place that there place this guy over there Make sure that guy doesn't freeze and there so that guy doesn't freeze and then this can get covered back up because I don't need it anymore You as well Sweet, I think we should be good. Hold on. Let me go ahead and place one there too 
Good. So it does. I'm hoping nothing freezes. We're gonna go ahead and place these. Nope. See, look, that guy froze. So I gotta put those there as well. See, this is a this is the gifs, man. We gotta we gotta work around all this stuff because we uh, live in a snow biome. Give me that back. Place that there. Can't. We gotta make sure none of this freezes. Okay. I think everything should be good. <laughs> it's ridiculous amount of torch placement, but hey, we can fly. That's all we need. And I know it's gonna ruin our amazing snow biome, which by the way, I fixed uh, over time. I just let it kind of. Uh, accumulate all the snow back now that we don't have to spam torch anymore but hey we got to do it for this guy so it doesn't freeze so yeah now we can fly which is great i think that's all i wanted to get done for today's episode guys. we're already at the end of the episode anyways there's nothing else that we can do for today i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode guys because i had a ton of fun today so guys don't forget if you hate this video you guys know where to put it but if you didn't enjoy it do not forget to hit the like button guys like i was saying guys which is main support a lot of our serious stuff. I want to say thank you guys for all your main support, guys. Don't forget to post any questions, comments, or small marks, comments section the down there. I love it for me, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Have all of a great and wonderful rest of your day. You guys don't even know how much just straight poo came out of me when I thought I lost all of my items. I wish I was recording when it happened because that would have been just the best thing for television. Um. But thank goodness I have people playing with me. Because if I didn't, I was playing on single player. I'd have been very, very angry. <laughs> I guess there is another good thing about playing with other people. I guess being an introvert isn't all that great. <laughs>